Guides here everybody with another down and dirty guide to Daisy. A couple of people have asked me on how I set up the Daisy Gun mini series. And in this first guide of mission editing, we're going to be looking at just some of the basics. Primarily, we're going to be looking at how to move around in the 2D and 3D views, as well as placing your first playable character down. Now, single player mode is disabled when you load the latest version of DayZ, and that's actually where one of the mission editors is. There's actually a kind of hidden mission editor that you can access by pressing Alt-E on the main menu. Once you press that, you will be given an option to choose a map. In this case, we're going to pick Chernorus. As soon as the editor has finished loading, you'll be given a kind of map view that's just like the in-game map. You can click around on it, you can drag yourself around on it, you can zoom in and out on it. On the right side of the screen, you have a couple buttons, and one of them is Preview. If you try to click it, of course, you don't have a playable unit down, so you can't start the game or preview the game. One of the cool options that this particular mission editor gives you is Edit in 3D Mode. While in 3D Mode, you can actually move all around the map. Using your WASD characters, you can move forward, left, right, and back. And when you right-click with your mouse, you can change the angle that you're looking at. To go up and down, you can use your scroll wheel, or you can use Q and Z on your keyboard to go up and down. While moving around, you can hold control to slow down to a crawl, or you can press shift to start zooming around really fast around the map. This is probably one of the best features of this editor. You can use it just to go ahead and zoom around the map to get a better look of Chernorus to get to know the towns and that sort of thing. So once you're done, let's go ahead and hit the edit in 2D button to the right side, and we're back in 2D view. One of the first things that you're gonna have to do is create a center. What a center is, is sort of like the side that your character is on, sort of like if it's counter-terrorist or terrorists. So to place a center, press F10 on your keyboard, and then double-click anywhere on the map. You'll be given a couple options, and we're not going to go through them, we're just going to use the default, which is blue 4. Just hit OK. On the upper left-hand corner, a new option called Center West will appear, and this is actually where all your groups and where all your units will be appearing. So the next thing that you have to set is a group. A group is just what it sounds like. You can have multiple groups with multiple units in each group. To set the group, just hit F2 on your keyboard, and again, just double click anywhere on the map. And you're really only gonna have one option, so just hit OK. And now finally, we can set a unit. A unit, of course, is gonna be a soldier or a survivor or any of that kind of stuff. So to set a unit, hit F1. And now it actually does matter where you double click. So let's double click here on the middle of this road. And a new unit is going to be created, and we're not going to care about all these options just yet. We'll care about it in another guide. For now, let's go ahead and set the type. And just scroll down, and we're going to choose uh, Survivor. Now, just as a note, one of the survivors is an invisible model. So if your character spawns and you can't see them in third-person view, just go back to your unit and change the type. Now you want to double-check that the player option is set to player, and that the playable option is set to playable. After checking all that, you can actually hit OK and your first unit is set. You can hit preview to the right side and get in game and start playing around. Thanks for watching this guide. In the next guide, we're going to be looking at how to set down some vehicles and also how to have your character spawn with some items. Keep on derping!